Hello everybody, today I've come up with a really interesting and nice puzzle for you to solve. So this puzzle is called Chess Math. Let's try to solve this puzzle. So first, before we start solving the puzzle, we want to look at what we're trying to find out. We're trying to find out the value of these of these uh, of these chess pieces and uh, and a few equations between them to find out what it's equal to. So this is our big question mark. So as you can see from this last equation that we're trying to solve, there's four different types of pieces. There's a queen, a knight, a pawn, and a rook. So let's write them down so that we can find our values. Rook. Okay. Now before we start solving solving this, we want to number off the equation so that we can we can be organized. And so this is equation number one, equation number two, equation number three, equation number four, and finally the last equation, equation number five. Okay, so let's start by equation number one. So in equation number one, there's only one unknown value. Let's look at the equation. One pawn plus two pawns equals 12. So when we're thinking of something plus something equals 12, we always think of six plus six. But but it, the value of two pawns cannot be the same as the value of one, one pawn. That's that's like saying two X equals one X. So let's let's find a different way to solve it. We need so we already right off the bat. We know that we know that this value is going to be twice the size of this value. So let's find one value that fits fits the equation. Four plus, four plus eight is a good value. So let's write down our first equation. Four plus eight equals 12. So this signifies that one pawn plus two pawns equals 12. That means our, the, the value of our pawn is four. Now let's go on to the second equation. So in the second equation, it seems like it seems like we have actually have three unknown values that we that we need to find out before we can solve the equation. So this is so this means that we cannot solve the second equation right off the bat. So let's 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 look at another equation, the third equation. So the third equation only has one unknown value. Great. So let's find the rook's value. So this equation is saying a rook plus another rook and a pawn equals eight. Let us solve equation number three. Okay, so in equation three, we have rook plus another rook and a pawn, like I just said. So we already know that the pawn's value is four. We can put that and a missing value plus four, plus another missing value. So, and this final equation equals eight. So we already know that four is taken up. So therefore, the value of these other two must be equal to four. That means two rooks has to equal four. Therefore, this you can conclude by this equation that one rook equals two. So two plus two equals eight. So let's just check one more time. Two plus six equals eight. Great, now we have found out the value of the rook. The value of the rook is two. Now let's go back to our second equation and see whether we can solve it this time. So we have the rook, the knight, the pawn, and the queen. Oh no, it seems like we have two values that we still don't know. Okay, let's continue on to another equation so that we can come back to that equation. Okay, let's continue on to the fourth equation. Okay, great. So we, in this equation, we only have one value that we don't know, which is the knight. So let's find out what it is. So we already know a missing value plus two plus another, miss, not a missing value, which is a pawn, four equals 15. Great. So now we can find out what the value of the knight is. So two plus four equals six. So the, this plus this equals six. Now one plus six equals 15. Well, well, let's do 15 minus six to find out. 15 minus six is nine. So therefore the value of the knight must be nine. Now we have three down and one left to go. Now let's finally look back at our second equation that we've been trying to solve for so long. Great, now we have all the values needed, except the queen. So we only have to find out one value. 
Let's do it. So we have the rook, which is two, plus a knight, a knight and a pawn, nine plus four, minus and missing value equals four. Great. Now let's add these up together. So we have 13, two plus 13, minus something equals four, 15 minus a value equals four. 15 minus what equals four? Let's find out what, let's try to work the other way around. Four plus something equals 15. Four plus 11 equals 15. Therefore, now we can conclude that the value of the queen is 11. Great. Now we have all our values needed to fi so finally solve the last problem. Okay, let's do it. So in the last problem, we have two queens. So 11 plus 11, or 11 times two, plus a pawn, which is four, plus a knight, plus another pawn, times a rook, which is two, minus another rook, and a pawn. But in this in this scenario, it's a bit different. The pawn the the pawn's position near to the rook is not the same as the other one. For example, in this one right here, the rook is right next to the pawn. But this one, the rook the pawn is uh, more more towards in the corner. Therefore, we can conclude that the pawn is actually a square. Not not an addition thing. Great. Now let's solve the equation. So right off the bat, we know that 11 plus 7 equals 22. 4 plus 9 equals 13. And 13 plus 4 equals 17. Times 2 minus 2 to the power of 4. Now we have simplified our equations in the parentheses. So let's look at PEMDAS. P E M D A S. PEMDAS. PEMDAS is used to, to solve any equation, and it's the order of the equations where, which you need to solve. So we've already done the parentheses, and now we need to do the exponents. Are there any exponents in this equation? Yes, there's 2 to the power of 4. Let's do it. 22 plus 17, 17 times 2 equals 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. So therefore, this must be 16. Great. Okay, so now according to PEMDAS, multiplication and not addition, so we cannot do 22 plus 17, only multiplication comes first. Let's put this in parentheses so that we can clarify it a bit. Now, let's do 17 times 2. 22 plus 34 minus 16. Great. Now, addition and subtraction uh, can, can just be done in any order. So let's do it. 22 plus 34 equals... 56 and 56 minus 16 equals 40. Yay, now we solved our, now we solved our equation. Okay, hope you guys uh, had a lot of fun in this video and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.